Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Donald Barker. Welcome to Ancient Assembly Props and Costumes. This is Shemi, and uh, she'll be assisting me with uh, putting on the shawls. And today we're going to be talking about shawls from the old uh, Assyrian period and beyond. So phases like the Neo-Sumerian period, the Akkadian period, and uh, EDP 1, 2, 3. The dimensions of this piece of fabric is approximately three and a half meters, uh, so that's a, about seven seven cubits. Uh, and here we've got a, about a meter in in width, uh, so that's approximately two uh, two cubits in height. So seven seven cubits by by two cubits approximately. Uh, <coughs> now, if you want, can you please fold this? fabric in half fully okay and here what you see is we've just gathered that piece of fabric up folded it in, in half and now I'm gonna uh, attempt to wear a very very ancient style that was around for thousands and thousands of years Okay, so starting off here with your with your left hand side, uh, wrapping back around, and then coming around once, twice, three times, here, and you can see now once that's uh, tucked in. That gives you that gives you the traditional kilt, and uh, what I'd also like you to consider is the fact that these exposed edges would have been fringed. So here you'd have your fringe on on this side, and possibly even at the bottom if you if you wanted to. Show me if you don't mind. So the plain kilt. Plain wrap around kilt is your most basic uh, style. Again, as you can see, that was the one one meter. Now, watch this. We'll we'll make it full, and we'll do the same thing. So, from this same piece of fabric, it goes under I mean, under under the armpits. Just yep, like that around around the back. And here, that's one full, one full bend. One, full, another full bend, and that comes around and tucks into. Okay. So pretty much all you need to do is uh, fold these down. Uh, hang on, and then fold it again. Yeah. And these can be worn uh, relatively securely without uh, your your belts or sashes. Although there is evidence for sashes even in uh, Sumerian uh, times, EDP uh, three, uh, EDP two, EDP one. So I've just uh, showed you two styles out of this particular material. Uh, and that's what I mean, the, the value of the cloth to be able to give you uh, many, many different styles. So here, I'll also demonstrate with this one uh, a, a closed wraparound shawl. And uh, for that, we're going to start by draping it. Draping it over the, the left shoulder. And you can see I've got my arm stretched out underneath, so I'm going to give myself quite a bit of quite a bit of fabric, and that's going to go around the arm, around the back, under the under the right armpit, yes. And then now, hang on, stay there. I've I've got my hand in that sling position, and that goes under my yeah under my elbow around the back again, and keep wrapping. And then tuck it in. Yep. 
Thank you. Okay, so here we have a very ancient style that's found on uh, artwork such as ancient silver seals. And this is a closed wraparound shawl. And this is what I mean by closed wraparound. My arm, my left arm is not free anymore. My right arm is totally free. And in some of those small cylinders you see uh, weapons being carried, uh, axes, maces, and uh, uh, other staffs in, in this hand too. So this hopefully will give you a look at what it looks like from, from the back. And again, disregard the, the tunic. So, and imagine that on the ends, there is actually uh, tasseled, tasseled edges or fringed, uh, fringed edges. Now, this same style, Shemi, if you don't mind, comes in a short version, which I'm able to pull off in using, using this piece of fabric. Uh, what I do is, as we, as we did before, I'll just plonk my side down, you half yours, yeah, and you get that diagonal kind of look. And now what I'm going to do is, again, place it over, place it over my, my right shoulder, uh, coming down the front, and with that, I'll hold my hand in, in that position. And Shemi, you can, you can tuck that around, yeah, tuck that around, yeah, and tuck that in. Thank you. And here you have your closed wraparound shawl again, uh, in the mini version or the half version. So you can see the versatility of these pieces of fabric. And that's why I'm insisting on uh, these pieces of fabric not being cut at uh, strange and peculiar shapes in order to uh, obtain those ancient uh, Assyrian designs, ancient Akkadian designs, ancient Sumerian designs. Okay, so now I've got my piece of fabric under, under my left arm. It's gone around the back and we'll go around once completely. Yeah, and now over over the left shoulder. Yeah. And now that corner, show them that the corner of the fabric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and what you're gonna do with it. So you're gonna end up tucking that. Yes. And now this is what uh, Mary J. Houston believes to be the, the Sumerian, the Neo-Sumerian style that you see on the sculpture. Uh, however, I do think we can get better, represent, better representations than this. And again, it's always important for you to remember that these edges will have all been uh, formed with, uh, with trim. And actually, these, uh, this particular style wasn't invented in the Neo-Sumerian period. It was actually invented earlier than that in, in the Akkadian period uh, and was used by governors and uh, elites within the ranks of the Akkadian Empire and uh, was a style that remained even through the Neo-Sumerian period. Shemi, if you don't mind, now here's something that's from the Neo-Assyrian period, but related to the ancient uh, Assyrian queen's uh, shawl that you see in the Ashurbanipal stele, where she's uh, sitting on the throne, having 
having a sip of wine while Ashurbanipal is reclined celebrating the victory over the Elamite king. Uh, that one starts from, from your left as well, goes around once, so yeah, come around. Goes up over my shoulder, and then in that corner, bring that back over. Yes, and now this this style. If you if you don't mind grabbing me a seat. So you get the. You get the fringe that you that you see on the bottom, the fringe that is coming up here, and the fringe from the from the tuck over over the shoulder. And this is the ancient Assyrian queen's uh, shawl. So this is a, a beautiful piece of uh, linen which I'm also going to be turning into some other items of clothing. Uh, and before I do that, I just uh, I, I have this opportunity with a piece of linen that's now uh, eight eight cubits long. So Shemi, if you don't mind, let's show them what what kind of uh, fabric, fabric sizes we're we're dealing with here. And you can see we got approximately four four lineal meters and uh, it's it's a one uh, about 1.4 meters in, in in width so that the height from there to there is uh, approximately 1.4 uh, meters and the length is a four meter piece of fabric so here where this is what we're talking about in ancient in those ancient times huge pieces of fabric and again, Please imagine uh, that there's trimming on all four edges as well. So what we want to do is you want to fold, you want to fold some of the fabric back like that. On my side, it's it's about one one hand. On your side, approximately two. Yeah, that's good there. So let's turn around so we can show them what we've done. So here it's approximately one hand. And then on that side it goes it goes a little bit a little bit lower. Can you can you lift it up a little bit? That's that's a to a, this edge here. If you can raise it up, yeah. A bit more? A bit more? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. So so now we've created we've created our straight edge. This gets placed again over. Over the left, the left shoulder. Show me. Hang on. And then I'm gonna remember to to anchor your your hand in in the sling position. Come come down. Wrap around. Yep. Wrap around. Wrap around. It's okay, you can make it tight. Yeah. Okay. So, and here, and here you have the dress garment of the ancient Assyrian uh, ruler that's found in the city of Ashur on, on that statue which historians have suggested is uh, Manishtushu. Uh, so here you would have your, your fringe here you would have your fringe and you get an idea of what we're what we're talking about and the way that these pieces of fabrics were made to be versatile if we can do another style that's from a sculpture from the city of Mari uh, so let's have a look at that that is an open wrap 
which comes which comes forwards. Okay, so so what we've done here is we've actually given a piece of fabric uh, a fold. Remember, this fabric was uh, one point four meters in width and four meters in, in length, so eight cubits by just under uh, three cubits uh, long. Uh, so so here you can see the the fold comes and give me. Yeah, and then right at the end over there, which is the point that's going to go around the front of my uh, wrap, you see it's only about a hand's width. Now, if you want, gather up your end so we can we can start the wrap. So this particular one starts from the right hand side. So here, under the the right armpit, goes around. Hang on. Goes around once, goes around twice, and then goes up over the shoulder. Yep. And if you if you can on this side, just uh, pop the. Yep, a little bit, not too much, and this gives you that that V shape with the with the fold and then the fringe uh, on there. And here you get that regal regal pose. And this is what it looks like. Thou shall not kill. Now, here we've covered uh, some crucial uh, shawls, and you have to remember that back in those times, they didn't wear tunics, so these shawls would have, their, would have been their uh, primary items of wearing. It's possible they would have been wearing uh, wraps underneath as undergarments, and then these shawls would have uh, came on top. But uh, as far as I am aware, the, the tunic, has uh, not been fully developed yet. So thank you very much for watching and uh, just remember I'm an Assyrian having fun mate.